Welcome back to Mystical Kannada friends. In our last video, we learnt about the Rashtrakutas of Manyakita and today we shall know more about the Chalukyas of Kalyani dynasty. The Chalukyas of Kalyani ruled in Basava Kalyana at Bidar from 973 to 1189 AD. The most prominent kings among them were King Tailapa II, King Someshwara I, King Someshwara III and King Vikramaditya VI. Their business language was Kannada. Sanskrit and Kannada was the language of scripts and inscriptions. The major literary works and authors during their period are Gada Yuddha and Ajita Purana by Ranna, Mitakshara by Vigneshwara, Sangeeta Chudamani by Jagadeka Malla, Panchatantra by Durga Simma, Pampa Ramayana by Nagachandra, Vachana Sahitya by Basavanna, Vikramanka Charitre by Billana and Manaswan Lhasa by King Someshwara III. Thailapa II, a renowned warrior, founded the Chalukya dynasty of Kalyana after overthrowing the Rashtrakutas in 973 AD. The Chalukyas of Kalyana claims descent from the Chalukyas of Badabi. He created the new capital, Kalyana. The rulers of Chalukyas of Kalyana were renowned warriors. Someshwara I was the most powerful king and one of the great monarchs of the family. King Tailapa II held the title Trilokamalla. King Someshwara III held titles Sarbagna Chakravarti, Buloka Malla and Tribhuvana Malla. Vikramaditya VI was a great emperor and is widely considered the most notable ruler of the dynasty. His was an important period in Karnataka's history he is referred by historians as the Chalukya Vikrama era. He held titles like Bhuvanekya Malla and Permachi Deva. Chalukyas of Kalyana belong to the orthodox Hindu religion. The growth of Virashaivism and Vaishnavism paralleled a generally decreased interest in Jainism, although they were religiously tolerant. Shiva, Vishnu, Ganapati, Surya, Kumara, Shakti, indigenous cults like Mari, Masani and Ekalati were the deities worshipped. The Western Chalukyas inscriptions were mostly in Kannada. The Talagunda inscription of King Jayasimha II, the Hire Hadaganalli inscription of King Someshwara I, Hero Stone inscription of King Vikramaditya VI at Balligali are all in Kannada. Various inscriptions are found in Bellari and Alur as well. The Western Chalukya period was an important age in the development of Kannada literature and Sanskrit literature. In a golden age of Kannada literature, Jain scholars wrote about the life of Tirthankaras and Veerashaiva poets expressed their closeness to God through pity poems called Vachanas. Nearly 300 contemporary Vachanakaras, including 30 women poets, have been recorded. Early works by Brahmin writers were on the epics Ramayana, Mahabharata, Bhagavata, Puranas and Vedas. In the field of secular literature, subjects such as romance, erotics, medicine, lexicon, mathematics, astrology, encyclopedia etc. were written for the first time. The most famous literature of this era are Gada Yudha and Ajita Purana by Ranna, Mitakshara Samhite by Vigneshwara, Sangeeta Chudamani by Jagadeka Malla, Panchatantra by Durga Simha, Pampa Ramayana by Nagachandra, Vachana Sahitya by Basavanna, Vikramanka Charite by Billana, Manasul Lhasa by Someshwara III, Yashodara Charite and Pashwanath Charite by Vadiraja, Madaratilaka by Chandra Raja, Govaidya by Kirti Varma. Ranna was bestowed the title Kavi Chakravarti, Emperor Among Poets by King Tailapattu. The Chalukyas were great patrons of art and built beautiful temples at Bagali, Kashi Vishweshwara Temple and the Brahma Jinalaya at Lakundi, the Someshwara and the Saraswati Temple at Gadag, the Mallikarjuna Temple at Kuruvatti 
and the Mahadeva temple at Itagi are known for their intricate carvings. The western Chalukyas minted punch-marked gold pagodas with Kannada and Nagari legends which were large, thin gold coins with several varying punch marks on the observed side. They usually carried multiple punches of symbols such as a stylish lion, tree in Kannada, a spearhead, the king's title, a lotus and others. Their heaviest gold coin was Gadyanka weighing 96 grains, Dramma weighed 65 grains, Kalanju 48 grains, Kasu 15 grains, Manjadi 2.5 grains, Akkam 1.25 grains and Pana 9.65 grains. Vikramaditya VI was an ambitious and skilled military leader. Under his leadership, the western Chalukyas were able to end the Chola influence over Vengi, the coastal Andhra, and became the dominant power in the Deccan. Their boundary extended in the south to the banks of the Kaveri up to Salem and Coimbatore districts and up to the Narmada river in the north, from the Konkan in the west up to the Vengi and Nellur in the east. The Chalukyas of Kalyana ruled the entire Karnataka, Goa and Maharashtra and parts of Madhya Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. They ruled for about 216 years. That's about the Chalukyas of Kalyani. We shall meet in our next video related to the Kalachuris of Kalyani. Until then, like Kannada, love Kannada and subscribe Mystic Kannada for a lot more interesting videos about Kannada and Karnataka. Siriganadam Gelge, Siriganadam Balke.